Do you want to learn how to stream on Twitch from your Xbox 360? Yeah, I know there's a couple of you left. Today, I'm going to be showing you step by step on how I managed to stream my Xbox 360 to Twitch. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to click the like button and let's get started. So if you watch some of my other videos like this video or that video, I have both videos on how to stream the Xbox One and Xbox Series S and S. Unfortunately, it's not going to be as easy as those tutorials. Those tutorials, they have nice upgraded software within the actual console that allows them to stream from the console. So this is basically going to be one of the few ways that you can stream on your Xbox 360. If you have any questions throughout this video, make sure to ask them down in the comments below or feel free to ask me live on Twitch. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, this is going to come to no surprise to you. You're going to have to grab one of these bad boys right here. The one that I'm rocking with is the Elgato HD 60S or you can get the S Plus. A few things to know about this capture card is that it's 1080p 60 frames per second which is basically the industry standard my favorite reason is because of the instant game view let me break it down for you real quick when you're using a capture card traditionally you have it sent to your computer which is on your computer monitor and then you send it to an external tv but in my case i don't like playing on an external tv because i'm just like playing on my computer monitor and that's what the instant game view allows you to do so instead of needing both a computer monitor and an external TV with the instant game view, you can just play off your computer monitor. With a different capture card that doesn't have instant game view, you're gonna plug it into your computer and then you're gonna notice that there's like a one to two second delay when you make a move on your controller and the action happening in game. With the instant game view, it's like you're playing it basically on a TV. So it negates the need for having another TV. However, if you want to, you have the option I'll explain later. With this caveat though, you're gonna need a USB 3.0 drive, which is the blue drive on your computer. Basically every single computer and laptop that came out within the past like five years have the USB 3.0 port. It's the blue one if you don't know. If yours doesn't have one, then you're definitely in need for an upgrade. You're probably rocking on a toaster right now. So go check out my video in the top right corner on the best gaming laptops for streaming on Twitch if you want to check those out. By the way, everything that I talk about in this video is going to be available down in the description below. So if you want to go and scope it out and see what you need to get, be my guest. So now that I've told you how you're going to stream your Xbox 360 to Twitch, let me actually hold your hand and show you step by step on the process behind it. So it should come to no surprise that the first thing you're gonna need is your Xbox 360. Then you're gonna have to see if you have an HDMI cord or an AV cord, like the component cables, the red, white, and yellow. If you have an HDMI port, then follow along with this. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get a retro adapter. Now, instead of taking your HDMI port and plugging into your TV like normal, you're actually gonna take that HDMI cable and plug it to the HDMI in on your capture card because the console footage is going to be going to the input of the capture card. Now, the, the cable right next to that is actually a mini USB port right there, and that's actually where the, the footage of the video is going to be sent, and that's gonna be sent directly to your computer. And you plug that into a USB 3.0 slot. Right there you can see mine says USB 3.0, but you can also tell because it has a blue tint to it on the actual USB port. So, that's where the video is gonna be sent. Now, like I mentioned earlier, with the instant game view, um, you have the option of plugging in a TV for the HDMI out so you can put that on the big screen if you want. But like I said, I play on the computer monitor right there because it's instant game view and I wouldn't actually need to plug anything into that. It would just be no cord. But if you want, you can take that and plug it into a big TV. It's completely up to you. But the instant game view is super nice feature, which is why I chose that model over basically all the other models on Elgato and other capture cards included. So I'm gonna be showing you two different ways that you can actually use this specific capture card, either the HD 60S or the S Plus. Plus, basically any capture card that has the instant game view feature. The first method, I'm going to be showing you my personal favorite way on how to use it with the computer monitor and not using a TV. The second method is going to be using the external TV playing on the big screen. So watch all the way till the end to make sure to find whichever method suits you better. So method number one is going to be taking advantage of the Elgato software that actually came with your HD 60S or S Plus. If you didn't get it, just go to their website and download it. It's free if you have the hardware, which we do. So as you can see, it's says instant game view the best feature about this capture card in my opinion we just open it up and as you can already see we already got our game on there so let me grab my controller show you that we're not messing around as you can see i'm moving stuff around i'm not logged into live because i'm not paying for gold you know we're balling on a budget over here you're probably like okay cody that's on there that's good and great now what you can either go here and click on your settings so you can change it right now i just have it set to xbox 360 so that's basically telling it hey this is an xbox 360 do everything appropriate for it uh, you can make it 720p 1080p 
I'm gonna do 1080p. Then you can do 60 FPS for video preview if you'd like. I would recommend that if you're playing on instant game view, if you can handle it. But you can also go in your picture audio profiles. You can make different profiles. Like I made one for the N64, so I can just quickly switch over when I'm, you know, doing some retro gaming. I'm just gonna go ahead, okay. I'm all cool with all those different options we picked. So now you're probably wondering, wow, it's so small. How do I fix that? So right click, enter full screen. And you're like, what's this crap on the side, Cody? Right click, hide sidebar. So now we got a full screen right here. And now we're playing directly from our computer monitors. So now you're probably wondering, Cody, how do I actually stream this to Twitch? Well, let me show you. So I'm gonna minimize this real quick and we're gonna go ahead and boot up Streamlabs OBS. So if you've never used Streamlabs OBS before, I'm gonna leave a video in the top right corner, just a very quick, straightforward guide just to get you started with the software and it'll get everything set up. So go give that a quick watch, pause this video and come back. All right, so once you open up Streamlabs OBS, open up a brand new scene. You can tell this is a brand new scene because we don't have any sources and we don't have anything showing up on our actual screen. So what we want to go ahead and do is actually a window capture because we want to capture this window right here, this, this game capture HD window. So first off, let's go ahead and make this full screen. Uh, just because sometimes people have issues trying to capture the window when it's not full screen. Uh, you can do it sometimes when it's not, but if you're having troubles, just enter full screen and then do alt tab and head back over to your Streamlabs OBS. So now let's go ahead and click the source button, add plus, and then we're going to do a window capture add your source and then we're going to add a new source we'll just call it elgato add our source and then the window we want to capture is our game capture.exe whatever capture card software that's displaying the window we want that one so let's click that and as you can see it's perfectly lined up right here and just to show you that we're not capping let me turn on my controller very quickly and now I'm moving the controller and that's good and great. So now we have control that's on our screen. So I'm assuming most of you probably have a webcam. If you don't, check the description down below if you want one. But I'm going to add mine, video capture device, and then we will do a webcam. And I'm going to add a new source. You would just do webcam. And then since you saw that I already had a webcam source right there, it's not going to actually work. But you just go to device and click on your webcam and then it would show up. So um, let me just show you what it looks like with mine just because it's already set up. So let me just add my source. Here we go. If you want to make this smaller, just go ahead and drag this down by the corner. Uh, press down Alt on the keyboard if you're on Windows and you can grab the sides and you can trim it. I'm going to put myself in the bottom right corner. Now you can see that we have control of the game with our controller. So now what we want to do is just confirm that we're getting game volume. So if you keep an eye right over by the speakers in the mixer, every time I move, you do get like a little spike, meaning that the game volume is actually getting picked up by the computer. So the streams will be able to hear the game. And you can see that my microphone's plugged in as well. If you're having troubles with these, go to the bottom left corner of Streamlabs, click the settings, go to audio, and then desktop audio device one is going to be your computer speakers or whatever your game is coming out of. So just click whatever the game volume is coming out of, and you can just try every single one if you're having troubles. Uh, usually you can just click default though, and that'll pretty much sum it all up. And then mic is same same thing. My mic is out coming out of my line audio box, and so obviously you can see because whenever I'm talking, you can see the little volume meters going up right there. So now all you would have to do is click go live, make sure you're logged in with Twitch, and then put your title, your game, confirm and go live, and you'll be streaming live on Twitch. Uh, and then when you're done, just click the go live again. And instead of saying go live, once you're actually live, it'll say end stream. If you wanna record, you can click the little record button. And then if you wanna know where that's being saved, just go to, I believe it is output and then recording. And the recording path will tell you where those files of the video files are being set to record uh, to save. So I mentioned there was a second way to do it. And the second way doesn't use the computer monitor. This is for people that just wanna play off of their TV and don't wanna play through their computer monitor. We're actually not gonna use the Elgato capture software at all. We're just gonna bypass it completely. So instead of doing a window capture, we can't do a window capture because we don't have a window to capture the footage. So we're just gonna capture it directly from the capture card by going to video capture device. You can see right here, it says capture cards by Elgato. That's exactly what we want. And now we click add source and then I'm gonna add a new source. We'll call it Elgato add source and then device game capture HD 60 S. As you can see, it got captured. However, it's not full screen. So what I wanna do is click resolution FPS type, do custom, change it to 1920 by 1080p and then click done. And now you can see it's full screen. So webcam, same process we did for the other one. Let me just bring it up. By the way, uh, this is order of operations. So right now, if the Elgato is below the webcam, then you're not gonna see it. But if the Elgato is above the webcam, you're not gonna see it. So anything that you want to appear and overlap, make sure it's on top of each other. But I'll just put my webcam here. 
do a little trimmy trim. When you add your video capture device, by the way, if it's not going through your speakers, you don't see anything, scroll down. That's because it's made its own little mixer thing right here. So you're gonna control your game volume through this little slider right here through the Elgato capture card because it came its own audio source when you did the video capture input device. So any like video input device that you do, like the webcam, it's gonna have its own slider too in case that would be the mic that you choose if it's like a webcam mic combo. Just in case you're getting like echoes or anything or you wanna change the volume of it, you would just go and change the slider right here. And then you would just go live the same way you would the first method. If you're interested in more videos relating to streaming, Twitch, or anything of that nature, make sure to subscribe because that's what this channel is all about. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comments down below. Everything you've seen in this video is going to be available in the description down below as well, so check that out. I'm going to leave two videos on the end screen that I think you're going to like, and I'll see you in the next one.